evening, nerds of the internet. Welcome to Insert Coin to Begin Presents Let's Play. If you're new to the show, here's the format. We have four questions, count them four questions each week. The first three, five minutes apiece. The final one is the boss fight, which gets the remaining time and usually uses it. Uh, as per usual, the first question of every show is what are you playing and did you play the challenge from last week? Joining me this week, we have Fuzzy and Rizzy over on the Skype lines. They are contributors over at insertcointobegin.com. I'm your host, Chachi Says. Also, insertcointobegin.com. You can find us all on Twitter, G+, uh, Facebook. We're everywhere that you want to be. Even so, Plurk. Yes, even Plurk. Uh, so um, let's let, let you guys ready. Sure. Sure. All right, then let's do this thing. Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> Rizzy. What are yes. you playing? And did you play your own challenge? Yes, I did. First of all, and just so you know, I haven't even gotten past the first level yet, <laughs> and I want to punch a baby. <laughs> the, but, I would just like to point out that we here at Insert Coin to Begin presents Let's Play do not condone the punching of infants. Go on. <laughs> Unless you play this game, and it's completely <laughs> understandable. But more, I am also playing. Uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance on Facebook, Mass Effect Three, the multiplayer, the Earth is, the Earth came out, the Earth package came out today or yeah, last week, and it was pretty sweet. Uh, Major Mayhem, and I want to say yeah, I played you don't you don't know Jack this week as well. All right, Fuzzy, what'd you Hi. play? What'd you play, sir? Um, I did not play the challenge. Good, because you forgot to do that. Good, because you would want to punch a baby. A lot more uh, you would Dirt 3. I've been uh, playing that a good bit, messing around with the Jim Connor mode. Just really fun racing game. Uh, I picked up Tropico 4 yesterday, so I've been playing that. Um, you know, living a life as the dictator of a Caribbean small island. You know, so, yeah, there's that. Uh, played a good bit of Forza, messing around with a calculator for suspension setups that I had found and uh, put a post up on insertcointobegin.com about a few days ago. Uh, definitely check that out if you play Forza. And then I've also been playing a good bit of Major Mayhem and Dead Trigger, uh, both incredibly fun free games for Android, and Major Mayhem is probably the best Android game that I've played. Just fantastic game. All right, I'll have to pick it up once I... Uh clear my my phone space off which we'll get to in just a minute um this week i i am still on fight night round four um which prompted later questions so you know where my mindset is um today i picked up a game called 100 doors it's uh, a puzzle game where it's exactly what it is 100 doors that you have to solve a puzzle in order to open that door to move on to the next level um and then uh, Dark Knight Rises for your mobile device. I, I've been playing that. I actually downloaded it the day I went to see the movie. Um, Sorg and our lady friends went to go see it on the Omnimax. Uh, if you have the opportunity to do so, don't. Um, they, don't get me wrong. Go see the movie, just yes. not on Omnimax. Uh, but uh, Dark Knight Rises... Uh, it. If you haven't seen the movie yet, you don't want to play the game. If you don't plan on seeing the movie, then you probably don't plan on playing the game. Uh, but it loosely follows the same storyline as uh, the latest the latest film. So uh, there are some spoilers. So yeah, if you if you don't want to be spoiled, then don't read my post tomorrow on the review for the game. Um, but uh, yeah, so um. Hey, 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 Riz. Yes. So last week you gave us this challenge. Yes, I did. It was, uh, I want to be the guy. I want to be the guy. And, uh, I beat it. No, you didn't. I did. Uh, no, no, you didn't. I did. I, I, beat... want, I want proof that you beat it, sir. Why do I have to prove it? Because you said that you had to have proof. <laughs> no, win. no, 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 no. See, no. <laughs> all right, fine. You're right. I didn't beat that freaking game. I didn't even come close. I got halfway through the first level and couldn't get any further. Um, yeah, no one, no one beat the challenge. Um, so my 800 Microsoft points will stay in my pocket. No and one gets them. Pants that you don't wear. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. No one, no one 
responded with a uh, conclusion screen, therefore no one gets it. Um, yeah, this game was insanely hard. Mm-hmm. Um, I- I've played a lot of video games in my lifetime. This is by far the hardest thing I've ever tried to play. Mm-hmm. And because of that, I will probably never play it again. What kind? Of, and I didn't play this. What? What, it's, what is the deal with this game? It, it's it, like a side scroller, <laughs> right? It, it's a it's a platform puzzle game. Uh, it, the problem is, it, it, it's so freaking hard. Yeah, it, it's, it's like you it, have to do the same part of the level at least ten times to get the pattern down. And it, not just a pattern, but know what the level's going to do, know how you're going to time it, and get the like the feeling of the controls down because they're extremely touchy. Mm-hmm. One uh, hit kill. Yeah. All the time. And you get like this little pellet gun or whatever, that little shitty shooter, whatever, <laughs> and it doesn't do much at all. Yeah. But it. But when you do get through some levels, they do have like some cool. Like former games, like the former games attached to it. Like I know, I've, I've seen before guys go to the Mike Tyson Punch Out stage, uh, where they have stuff like uh, Metroid and other cool tie-ins to this game. So it's it's hard, but I think the price, the uh, reward is worth it. All right. Even though I didn't really beat it. <laughs> you didn't get past the first level as exactly. nor that did I. Um all right, but uh yeah, that was that was last week's challenge. Um on a scale of uh one to five, I give it a two. And I will now put that game away and never touch it ever again until the end of time. Um, the, so, uh, next week's challenge, uh, given to us by, uh, Fuzzy himself is Sim Raceway, and you can get it at simraceway.com. Frank, do you want to give us a little yeah, info about um, the game? It's a, uh, free, uh, MMO racing game, um, and you get a, uh, it's about, it's a little bit less than 600 megabytes for the install file, um, but you just sign in and you have access to... Uh, a whole bunch of different cars and tracks, and the, the very interesting thing is they have all kinds of his, uh, more historic cars just back from the 60s, and 70s, 80s, those kind of Formula 1 cars, which you very rarely ever see those in any games. Uh, the other thing that I saw that they have in the car list is the Morgan three-wheeler that just came out in the past couple years that uh, really isn't made to handle all that well. It's more of just an image-type car, but just the fact that they give you that, they give you all kinds of uh, tracks that, um, considering they're free-to-play, the uh, the graphics in the video uh, that are accompanying this uh, this uh, podcast, they're, like, it's an excellent uh, game, judging by the uh, graphics. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get it to work on either of my machines yet because both of my computers are lacking in the specs that it needs. It needs uh, two gigs of RAM and at least half a gig of video card, and neither of my computers uh, have that, so I'm going to try to get that onto my fiance's computer and try it out myself. Well, well. you can, uh, I believe you can drop, because I was looking at it, I, I think you can drop the... Uh you can drop the uh, the graphics down, so uh, it will yeah. actually run on lower machines. But it does take a little bit of tinkering to get it to work. Um, all right, so now on to this week's actual questions of questioning. First question: Do you read books that accompany video games? And if you do, what are some you've read? I'm gonna go first. Uh, and I'm going to go first because mine is going to be the shortest, the shortest, uh, possible explanation. Um, no, I usually don't read the books that accompany video games. Um, and that's just because I like their universes the way they are. We, um, actually, we actually had a good talk about this before yeah. the show. You know, for someone who doesn't want their mic on, you sure talk a lot. Oh, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, Sorg and I discussed this pre-show and, um, he doesn't read the Star Wars Star Wars books for the same reasons. Um, the the gal the doesn't want the the galaxy of the set 
medium uh, expanded. However, recently I, I would like to say that I was thinking about picking up some of the Assassin's Creed books because I think those I wouldn't mind them expanding on. Uh, Fuzzy. Um, I have read a couple of books pertaining to video games. The ones that I read were uh, precursors to the Halo games. Uh, they were Halo the Flood, Halo First Strike, and Halo Fall of Reach. Um, it was kind of good for me reading those because I didn't play Halo 1. I started off playing Halo 2, so it kind of gave me that backstory so I knew what was going on going into Halo 2. Um, and they were just really good, well-written books. Uh, they were done by the same publishing company that does all of the Magic the Gathering books. Uh, very good reads, in my opinion. Um, but also, uh, just like Chachi said, the Assassin's Creed books, uh, I'm thinking about picking up some of those because those, with the storyline that's in the game, having a book on that is sure to be an excellent book to read. Right, and I, I, it's the only thing that uh, I, I've played recently that I wouldn't mind having the expansion for. Um, as far as the rest of the stuff, I, I like the universes the way they are, or they don't have universes to expand on. Uh, Call of Duty, Lego Batman, um, yeah, the sports games, things of that nature. Uh, Rizzy. But Lego Batman has a book? No, Lego uh, Batman has... The whole Batman legacy is, uh, behind it. So, I, I, I don't. I haven't read the any of the video game books that came out. Um, I don't think I'm going to because, like Chachi said, it's more of a like. I want to control. I, I want to feel like I'm playing the game and control what I want to control in that universe. I don't really want to see what other people interpret is in that universe. Like I'm pretty sure I'm not going to see any video uh, video game movies or, or read any video game books because of that. Because it's the way I want to feel while, while I play this game, saying, okay, this is the uniqueness of this game. So, there's that. But I, I might pick up a book now and then, but who knows. <laughs> but right now, I haven't read anything because I want that feeling. And we're not saying don't read books, kids, because you should definitely read no, books. don't read books, play video games. <laughs> for 40 straight hours. No, don't, no, don't, don't encourage don't, that. Don't, don't do that. Okay, moving on before Rizzy gets a soul, soul, sued. Uh, so, uh, as I stated earlier in this, the show, I've been playing a lot of Fight Night Round 4. And that leads me to believe that I could do a lot of stuff that I play in video games. However... I probably can't. And so I want to know uh, from you guys what kind of video games that after you spend a considerable amount of time playing, you, you get up and you feel as if you could run out and do those things in real life. Um, Riz, go ahead. Max Payne. <laughs> I, want, I want to take a lot of pain pills and shoot people. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, I, like, I'm a big sports guy. So I play like the Maddens and the... Uh, what a FIFA and all that stuff, and I feel like I can actually do something. <laughs> and in fact, in high school, I actually tried, and I failed completely. <laughs> so, yeah, but this, any sports games makes me want to. Like, I, I've played soccer all my life, and I stopped playing soccer. So playing FIFA really wants me to get back out there and like see if I still got something. Gotcha. Uh, that me. Yeah. Fuzzy. Um, for me, it's, uh, anything, any kind of driving games. Like I said, I was just playing a lot of Dirt 3 the other day. I played it for like an hour, hour and a half or so. And then I had to go somewhere, I go out, get in the car and I'm driving. And then all of a sudden I'm quickly reminded by the amount of sway in the handling that I drive a Chevy Impala and not Ken Block's Ford Fiesta. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's one of those things where I, whenever I'm playing a driving game, I always make sure to give myself a little bit of time to get back into the reality before I get into a car and get behind the wheel. Uh, the other one that makes me think that I can do something that I really can't is the Assassin's Creed games, because I want to be able to just run up the side of buildings. Like, I'd love to be that strong and just that flexible and whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so I know that I can't do that, but it is good motivation to get to the gym. <laughs> uh, uh, Sword's wife, Missy, and I uh, had the conversation where 
after playing this Assassin's Creed game for a really long time, you, you spend a lot more time walking around your area, looking at buildings and finding uh, jumping or grabbing points. And there are a lot of old churches in the area. Yeah, like, like you're just like, oh man, I could totally run up that wall and grab that ledge before falling and breaking a leg. <laughs> or failing miserably and, and landing wrong and breaking something. Um, <laughs> uh, mine uh, uh, also are uh, sports games uh, and driving games. Uh, mostly, mostly boxing. Like I, I've played football and uh, and baseball and soccer in my lifetime, and I know that I'm bad at those things. Chachi Pacquiao. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I've never boxed before. And after after playing after playing the game, and I I sit there and I pick up the strategy, and I'm like, oh man, I could completely strap on some gloves and some boots and get in the ring. And then I, I stop and realize that um, I don't think I ever want to be punched in the face, <laughs> padded or not. I, that's not that doesn't sound fun. I don't I don't want to sit in a ring for three minutes per round and get hit. <laughs> but uh, that it, sounds so sad. I know, and and fuzz, like Fuzzy said, I have to allow myself time between uh, driving games, driving movies, and actually driving uh, because um, I I really get into them, and therefore I end up going really fast and taking corners way too fast, and I really shouldn't in the cars that I've driven. So I mean, I it, know how that feels. It, it's just dangerous. Mm-hmm. All right, you guys ready? Sure. Sure. The, the notes are getting li- littered, just littered with profanity. <laughs> <laughs> it's going back up to the notes, and there's just random bits in there. <laughs> I mean, do you see him this org? <laughs> it's uh, if you guys could see this. Uh, good thing you can't. It's time for this week's boss fight. You guys ready for this? Sorg, are you prepared for this? Talking to the mic. He doesn't want to <laughs> talk until he wants to talk. Okay. Uh, this week, and uh, once again, this was influenced uh, uh, by uh, Fight Night Round Four. Um, I, I was sitting there. I was fighting. Who was I fighting? I was fighting uh, Mike Tyson. Tyson? Yeah, I, I was fighting Tyson, and I I lit him up. And I was like, you know what? Uh, I just started coming up with this list of names of people. What, did you just say, you know what? I can take Mike Tyson. Yeah, I did. So, uh, so that's how that one question got started. Yeah, right. Um, and this one is uh, I I was thinking of people that I would like to see in the boxing game. Uh, so this week's boss fight is what fictional or non-fictional character would you like to see as a bonus character in a game that you actively play? Go ahead, Frank. Um, Morgan Freeman would just be fantastic just to have him as just like the just the calm, silent, just walking around. But he has like, you know, a giant sword. He's just slicing people down. I think that that'd be a great bonus character for that kind of game. <laughs> and then he narrates just have to Walk around as Morgan Freeman with a giant sword. Is he narrating um, the Another whole one would be Tim Gunn. Just because I think he'd be a hilarious video game character. I could see him in like a Call of Duty game just, uh, just ripping up, ripping apart the terrorists and how they dress. <laughs> I think that'd be fairly entertaining. But the thing that really jumped into my mind was some of our presidents. And I sent it, I sent you guys some pictures uh, that should be popping up any second now of some renditions of some of the presidents from Sharp Rider, from Deviant Art, and yeah, it's Ronald Reagan on a Velociraptor with a machine gun. I mean, with why the American wouldn't flag you want and the that? Well, I mean, character. let's just point out to the uh, the audience that Ron Ronald Reagan is a badass, anyhow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I mean, he he's only one of a few presidents that could tame a uh, a Velociraptor. So, I mean, that just makes sense. Right. Yeah. Uh, and right here is another fine example. Abe Lincoln, uh, for those who are listening on the audio, it's a picture of Abe Lincoln holding the Emancipation Proclamation <laughs> in one hand, a large assault rifle in the other hand, and riding a grizzly bear. Why would you not want that in a video game? That It makes perfect sense for video games. You have to have that. 
Actually, that was true. That's actually fact. That actually happened. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And, and, yeah. Like, in you were pro- he you, actually rode on a bear. Yeah, you were probably uh, sick that day in history class. Yeah. I, I know we covered that. <laughs> yeah, I must have missed that pretty one. awesome. <laughs> but yeah, that's the kind of stuff that I'd like to see. <laughs> All right, Riz. Uh, now, Chachi, remember the game we played, the first Chachi plays, right? Yeah. <laughs> crappy, and that, and that crap- crappy-ass Rocky video game for PS2. Yeah. And you know what was missing from all of them? All of Except the characters? All of the characters. <laughs> so I was going to stick with Rocky Balboa for Fight Night, but then I decided, you know what? <clears throat> any character from uh, from any of the Rocky movies, either it's Ivan Drago or, or Apollo Thunderlips Creed and Apollo Creed... Uh, I would just like to point out to the uh, the, the audience listening or watching um, that the reason these characters weren't in the Rocky video game is because Riz didn't take the time to beat the game before he brought it down. No. So that, that I mean, by actually, because I would actually had practice and I would actually <laughs> beat me in one of them. Yeah, but you know. Weren't but like, anyways, weren't there the, only four characters when you yeah. when you yeah, screwed like, it up? It, it was uh, it was us hitting random and then fighting. Yeah, for an hour. That was pretty much it. Yeah. But yeah, the the fact is that any of the Rocky characters would have been great add-ons to, let's say, Fight Night or something like any boxing game or any fighting game for that matter. Throw them in like uh, Mortal Kombat or something like that. Just, just to throw them in there. <laughs> I mean, you have Freddy, but the, it just seems like they need a good game. To wash that taste out of their mouth. They, they do. They really do. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. I, I want you guys to brace yourself because I'm about to blow your minds. All right. Fictional I- character that I picked that should make appearances in video games is none other than Mr. Clean. And uh, and once again, this was brought on by uh, Fight Night. Um, it, Fight Night is a, a really uh, unbalanced game. There's not many uh, ethnicities in Fight Night like you would think there would be. At least in the heavyweight dis- the heavyweight uh, division. Um, I think I've fought one white guy and I'm a Mexican and everyone else is black. And I was sitting there, I was like, you know, it, 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 the, the creator character really needs some work overall because i mean it doesn't really help you any when you when you're creating a character um but i i think mr clean versus like muhammad ali and the ultimate uh badass showdown would be amazing and then <laughs> this prompted, mr clean is quite badass yeah and then uh, sorg brought this on in a uh at pre-show discussion, that it would be funny to see him well, in Tekken, and uh, what were some other ones, Sork? What? What were some other games that we said we'd like to see uh, Mr. Clean in? I think I said Smash Brothers, yeah, Tekken. And, yes. Oh man, Smash Brothers with Mr. Clean would be fantastic. And then, uh, I think it was Matt in the chat oh, Soul room. Soul Calibur. Yeah, Matt yeah. in the chat room said Soul Calibur. He could have his broom. And uh, the, the magic eraser broom. He, mop yeah, or whatever he, it is. yeah. He would he would start off with the mop as his uh, normal weapon, and then with the right uh, key combination, he would pull out a spray bottle, and you'd be temporarily blind for about five or ten seconds, and you would just be able to uh, combo it up on your your opponent. And I, I think it's it's that type of stuff um, that would need uh, these fictional characters in there, like like. Uh, I, we'll use a uh, Lincoln for example. I mean, could you uh, see him in like a, a we'll say we'll say Tekken <laughs> or or Mortal Kombat type? No, we'll say Mortal Kombat. And right like, now, yeah, yeah. And you could you could see him like one of his uh, one of his special moves is a podium breaks out and he just starts giving uh, the Gettysburg Address, and the dude falls asleep. And he just walks up and beats you to death with the podium. I, uh, the chat room is saying that. the chat room is saying that Lincoln was in a Fight Club video game. 
That's he weird. Was? I'm going to have to find that because uh, yeah. I, I, I'm going to need to play that. First of all, you don't talk about Fight Club. <laughs> Shut it, Riz. You're breaking the rule. But I mean, it, it, it's stuff like that. I think video game developers need to expand and start getting creative with the uh, the unlockable characters or the secret characters in the games. I mean, because, I mean... The... Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Like, you remember back in the older days of video games where they had, you know, the unlockable characters and the hidden characters and all that. We had, like, when we talked about uh, Clay Fighters, they had Boogerman and uh, Earthworm Jim in there. Yeah. That, I, that's, I miss those. The ultimate game with the greatest unlockable characters ever. Mm-hmm. NBA Jam. Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, in NBA Jam, you could be you could be Clinton, you could be Hillary Clinton, you could be the Beastie Boys, and the list just, you could be all the mascots, and it just went on and on and on. I, I double-checked the Wikipedia page for the Fight Club video game for PS2. Uh-huh. Uh, I'll say it was also on Xbox. Yes, Abraham Lincoln was a... Uh, was a character and is ranked fourth in Electronic Game Monthly's list of top ten video game politicians. Oh my god, I, I, I found video. Oh man. I found video, but it was like two seconds of it with him. Yeah, that sounds it. Sword. Fact checker fact checker sword, find that game on Amazon for me and tell me how much it costs. Because mm. <laughs> whatever it's listed for on Amazon, it's definitely worth it. And while he's doing that, let's go to the chat room and see what the chat room has to say about everything we've talked about Xbox so far. Xbox or PlayStation? PS2. Uh, there was a novel release based on the Shadow Warrior game. Uh, so, uh, Matt has read uh, Halo Fall of Reach. Sonic says uh, also says that the Republic Commando series were the best novels in the, the uh, Star Wars universe has to offer. Uh, Matt says he's thinking about getting the Witcher books. Yes, Sorg. Nine eighty eight on Amazon. It's in your email. Oh, see, uh, I'll, I'll be playing that. Wait, nine eighty eight. Look at used. It's a penny. <laughs> With like five dollars shipping, I'm sure. Hey, that's. I like Ciro's suggestion. He likes to beat up hookers. He said GTA always. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's another one. Uh, the thing that uh, used to get me is uh, where I grew up was a uh, town that had a lot of bike rallies, and I remember whenever I believe it was um, was Vice City the one that started including the motorcycles. I think so. Yeah. 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 Um, I'd always like just to run up and rear end the motorcycles and watch people go flying. And then I'm out driving one day and I'm creeping up. I'm like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ease off. I know where this is going. Don't want to go there. You did that, didn't you? You did that in real life, didn't you? (laughs) Yeah, that doesn't need to be real life. (laughs) So, uh, and, uh, yeah, Ciro said GTA always. Uh, Hot Wheels, appropriately, says driving games for him. Uh, Jehovah said that he would live to see Mr. Fantastic in Fight Night. <clears throat> and uh, we already covered Ciro saying that Lincoln was in a Fight Club video game, which I will be ordering and playing the hell out of. Oh, and Lincoln is in uh, Star Spangled Sus- Suspenders. Oh man, he is he is presidentially pimped out. Mm-hmm. Presidential, presidentially? presidentially pimped out. I don't know. Sorg has given me the wrap-up signal, which means we've gone way too long, because he normally doesn't do that until we've hit our limit to the max. So, Fuzzy, anything you want to talk about before we wrap up? Um, talk to Riz real quick. I may have just... Oh, okay. Here we go. In case you want to play as Abraham Lincoln in a video game, here's the list of the 27 games Holy that he's been crap. featured in. Wow. Actually, I'll just post this to the site. Yeah, that's, yeah, let's make this a post for tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> um, 27 Riz. games for him, though. But, yeah. Anything, so keep Riz? your eyes on uh, insertcoinbegin.com. Learn about your presidents. <laughs> Wheatley in space. Yes. That's all I have to say. Uh, you can check out the story at insertcointobegin.com. Uh, so, for at Fuzzwad, at Riz IUP, I am at Chachi Says. Thank you, nerds and nerdettes, for tuning in to this week's Insert Coin to Begin Presents Let's Play, the question and answer show. Each week, you can join us here at live.sorgatronmedia.com, 8 p.m. roundabouts every Tuesday night. 
You can check us out at the site, insertcointobegin.com, where we post all the daily news for the video game world that we possibly can in a single sitting. You can check us out on Facebook. We're on the Google+. Plus. We're on Twitter at insertcointb. You can talk to us. We will talk back to you. We are conversating fools. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next week.